Hi, my name is Harold Anger from Spring Green Lawn Care, and I'm here to take a look at this lawn to look for some disease. Now I can look in at just about any lawn and find a certain amount of disease. That's just part of having a lawn, it's part of the nature. For example, there's a little bit of leaf spot here on this particular leaf blade, and we'll find leaf spot on almost any lawn. But why does a lawn get a disease? Well, there's three things that are important to understand about diseases. First of all, it's called a disease triangle. And what we mean by that is that in order for a disease to develop, you need three things. First of all, you need your host plant, which is your grass or any other type of plant material. The second thing is the pathogen or the disease causing agent. Right now, those are floating all over the place. That's part of being, uh, having a lawn, part of nature, is to have these pathogens or these diseases are there. But in order for those diseases to develop, you need the environment. And the vi environment has to be existing for a long enough period of time for that pathogen or that disease to develop and infect the host plant. If that is there, then a disease can develop. So for example, in the spring, we often see problems with snow mold, a very common disease, especially on northern turf grasses, when the snow melts, because the environment for it to grow is in cool, wet weather. You go farther on, leaf spot, which I was just mentioning to you, is a, a later in the spring disease that we'll see during the cool, damp weather of spring. As you begin to get into the summer, dollar spot, brown patch, those are other diseases that can develop. Powdery mildew, rust, these are other diseases that can develop in a lawn. Now, in many cases, the lawn can withstand a certain amount of disease activity. With certain diseases such as brown patch, especially in the, our southern areas and our transition zones, we actually want to do applications to control those because they can be such a serious problem. But when I'm talking about diseases and when we're talking about developing the environment, we're not just talking about temperature and cloudiness. Things like mowing too short, watering especially in the evening, going into night, getting your grass wet, those are conditions where you're setting up the right conditions for the disease to develop. An analogy I like to use is looking for that little Tupperware container in the refrigerator of that spaghetti that you had three weeks ago that you forgot about. You open it up and there's all kinds of mold growing in there. Why? It's cool, dark, and moist. Same thing will happen in your lawn, especially if you're watering at night. So try to avoid watering in the evening. Water during the, the early morning hours is your best time. Keeping your grass mowed high also will keep it strong so that it can resist a lot of these disease, diseases. But if you suspect that your lawn disease has a disease because it's growing and has unusual patterns in it, contact your local Spring Green office. They can help you determine if you do have a disease problem and provide the right materials and the right instructions. Sometimes it's as simple as raise your mower, change your watering. Maybe it revolves, involves having your lawn core aerated a couple times or overseeded. Those are all things that will help in producing a, a better lawn to help it fight off these diseases. There are many diseases that can infect your lawn, but many of them are not that serious of a problem. The best thing to do is to contact your local spring green office. They can come out, take a look at your lawn, tell you what's going on, and provide you the best course of action to caring for your lawn. Thank you.